Good morning, Tide Valley Liz, and welcome back to the channel. We finally made it on Chicago Bay Beach again. This is now 10 past 5 in the morning. Um, and things are going well. Let me show you. First cast, guys. That one. Um, yeah, first cast, I had that one. And then second cast, I got myself a keeper. Anyway, that first one's going to go back right now. You've got to get this fish back. But uh, two from two so far, so that's not bad. And that's to go with the one I got last night. I'll show you the clip of that one now. I didn't do any filming last night. Um, I was down here with Kay and Kai. Um, they had one good one each as well. Mine was only a small one, I went back. And uh, a couple waiting to go with it. So anyway, I'll show you the clip of that now, and I'll get this fish back. Come look at any filming tonight in this one, but there's bass number 85 of the year, only a tiddler, but still a fish, and it seems a blank. Um, anyway, caught beautifully on the circle hook, right in the corner of the mouth. Beautiful guys, perfect. <laughs> As uh, cameraman Ron would have said, God rest, his, God rest in peace. Anyway, there we go, guys. That's number 85 of the year. It's getting back. It's getting back. Right, so here we go. So that the one last night was 85, so 86, 87, and this one now 88. Getting ever closer to that magical 100. Right, let's get this one back. Right, three fish in the first three casts. Can't be bad. Right, let's get it back then. What a great start, guys. Yeah, good morning, like I said. Um, hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing really well. Um, really loving my fishing at the moment, guys. This target of a hundred is really driving me and uh, yeah so plan is 
this to fish now until well it's 5 20 now fish until at least 6 20 maybe quarter past six get home high water is just before six o'clock um, so that's looking good for me um, then tonight um, we're having the Anglesey Tight Lines meet up at a uh, local brew microbrewery, so it should be good fun. Um, hopefully, Aid will make it over Nick, Nicola. Um, Kay's coming with his wife, my wife's coming, Kai's coming. Um, I don't think Gareth can make it, but uh, yeah, should be fun. And then it'll be two weeks holiday. Two weeks that chasing that magical 100 will be on full time. Using my usual rigs for the beach here, up and overs. I've shown you these before. Right, so I'll just show you quickly. Blue did with ragworm. I got my lead, I got my uh, rotor clip, I got a uh, termi clip, I got my bead swivel bead in between crimps, the length of line that comes up over the uh, hangover thing there, and then the line clips onto it there like that. So let's get this back in and let's see how much closer I can get to 100. Right guys, after that uh, well quick start, it's gone quiet. Three bass so far, up to 88 now, so 12 to go. two weeks away from school now. Well. Hopefully, if we can get some good weather, maybe we'll get the boat out with Kay, because he'll be off as well. And, uh, see if we can get some puddling off the boat. We're not finding any off the shore. Get up to this magical 100. This is by far the best I've ever done any year uh, on the bass. I suppose when you put the time in, you're going to get done. Like I said, though, no bites in the last few casts. Right guys, okay, so that's the end of this little session. Not bad, three bass takes me to 88. 
So inching ever closer. It's well all the ice. Today is the 22nd of December. So uh, still plenty of time. Anyway, got to get home, get showered, breakfast, and get to school for the last day, and then two weeks off. Anyway, I'll see you later in the uh, brewery. Not Good morning tire liners and welcome back to the channel on Christmas Eve. Blowing a nice southwesterly, they surf up and the first baits are in the water. Ragwin baits like usual, on my usual up and overs that I've shown you a couple of times before. Um, and this one will go on to the back of the other video that I did the other day. Good morning guys, I hope you're all good. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the big day tomorrow. Down here looking to add to my tally of bass, of course. Uh, I'd really like to get one keeper today to try something out, uh, try to make a ceviche, and if I do, I'll show you that. Um, yeah. I'm awaiting. Kay says he's going to come down. And also, we've got Terry Wax coming here today from Caernarvon. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, should be a good session. It's flooding, and I think high water around about 8 o'clock. It's now just gone 6. So, let's get watching the rods. So I don't miss any bites and I can see, bring you some fish. Oh, this bite. Probably missed that. Maybe not. <laughs> That's definitely a fish on. I don't think it's going to be a mega big fish, but it's a fish and it will get us started. Don't forget I was starting today on 88 bass. Can I get... How close can I get to... Oh, I'm going to drop or not? I'm going to go off me. Not that for a first cast fish, guys. There's my keeper. 
And they've passed number 89 for the year. What a beauty. What a great way to start. Happy Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Again, guys, the old circle hook doing the trick. Right, I'll get that unhooked. I'll get another. Right, guys, first cast on the other rod, a small one. So that's number 90 of the year. Can we get that 10 today? That's the question. Right. Let's get it back. What a cracking start, guys. Right, let's get this one repainted again. So there's one for each rod. Right guys, so there we are, that was the first one. Nice keeper. If I get another keeper, I might take that one as well and give that to me dad tomorrow when he comes for his dinner. But anyway, I'll dispatch this now with the kitchen me, or wherever you say it, and uh, let's get it on. Kay and uh, Terry have just arrived on the beach now. Let's get some more. 90 bass. Right guys, that's the third one of the session, so that's number 91 for the year. Let's get it back. Right, countdown is on from nine now, okay, let's go. It could happen today, who knows, yeah? I first the only one, and now I'm going back to bed. <laughs> Carry on spotted the bite for me then as well. That's number two for me. Uh, 42 centimetre, so 43. That's okay. <laughs> so, last cast going in now as well, guys. Might have one more cast now, last cast. <laughs> yeah. Right, so one more attempt. Um, daylight is starting to come in. Usually that means game over anyway. Uh, 
ik heb wel weer gedikt. Right guys, so what I'll do now before going home is I'll scale this. What I'll do is I'll scale it in the water so it doesn't go everywhere. Makes the freaks look inside me. Right, so that's scaled. Now what I'll do is show you at home afterwards, skate, uh, filleting, and then what I'll do as well is show you what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to try for the first time to do a slimy shape. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but that's how I'm saying it. Get it gutted. So all the mess has been left here on the beach. The, the birds will have that now once we leave. Makes it just a little less messy in the kitchen at home. Okay then guys, so that's the end of this session. Up to 91 now. Nine, Nine to, go. to go. Countdown is on. So how many days have we got left? Well for normal people. <laughs> no, tomorrow's <laughs> out. Well, tomorrow is definitely out. Yeah. out. Uh, well you've got seven days. Okay, so nine and seven. Yeah, big and that. Six, seven days. Right, so we're gonna be out quite often after the Christmas day. Um, anyway guys, so from Kay and me here on Shadow Bay Beach, you all have a good day tomorrow and a happy Bassmas happy to you Bassmas, all. Guys. Okay, tight liner, so you can see now I'm back in the house. Um, not a bad little session again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it this bus, I'm gonna Keep some for Civi Shade to make that tomorrow for a Christmas Day starter and then I'll put the rest in the freezer. So what I'd like to do obviously I've already cleaned it down on the beach. I start down here by the tail, find the bone, follow the bone, right down back to the tail there. Right, okay. Make the cut by the head.
then and then turn it over here now. I'm going to follow the thin line up towards the head. I can on the fillet. Right, so there we are, nice fillet of bass. There is a few of the rib bones there again now, so I'll just tidy that up. Get rid of that. like the belly bit anyway, so take that away. Right. Okay, I'll put that to one side and repeat on the other side. Now some people would keep this and boil it up for stock. I can't be bothered. Anyway, that goes in there. Clean this bit up. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to skin this bit of it, so I'm going to go in there and skin it, that will go in the freezer for another time, and now what we do for a ceviche is cubes, Take the bones out, the thin bones out of there. Right, so we'll cube this up now. Trying to make sure that they're all roughly around the same size. Put them in there.
loudly enough because I can pretty guarantee that some of them won't even try it. So cute bit of bass ready for ceviche tomorrow and then this lot can go in the freezer as it is for another meal another day. Just take the pin bones out a little bit. Set. That goes in the freezer. Right guys, so another really good session done. Ceviche for starter on Christmas Day. What can be better? Good afternoon Tightliners and happy Christmas everyone. Introduce you a long awaited debut on the channel for me dad. Without this fella, this channel would not be happening. Taught me everything from a very early age. Fishing, bait digging, everything like that. Brilliant. Anyway, getting on with the ceviche that I started oh, last night. Cooking as well. And the cooking as well, yeah. Right, so the bass that I cut up into little cubes into a glass bowl. Right, slice up a few spring onions. In they go. Little bit of red chilli. Just a little bit of chilli, just to bring something out to it. And then we have somewhere where the things have been moved around in the village. It wouldn't be South American without the avocado. small dice of avocado. I think I'll just do the one half. It's not the favourites for people, is it? <laughs> yeah, avocado in. A yellow pepper. Scoop out the seeds. And I think half a yellow pepper will be good. Cut this into very small bits. Yellow pepper, and then obviously the important bit, the lemons. Just give it a quick rub on there, releases the juices, through the fingers, catch all the seeds, hopefully. Ah, stinging the fingers where the bass has been cutting me up. <laughs> Hope you're all having a good day, guys. Yeah. Now, obviously, the acid in the lemon will uh, cook the outer sides of the fish. It keeps the middle bit fairly raw. 
I've never tried this dish before, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried sashimi and things like that. Oh, did I drop one in there? Yeah, I did drop one in there then. <laughs> yeah. Right, just a little bit of coriander. Again, citrus, coriander, and chili. They just work so good together. And the other bit, just a few things of uh, fresh mint. No doubt the rest of this mint will find its way into a nice more heat to us until later on. We stand in there now for 20 minutes and it's ready to eat. Oh, a little bit of salt. Just a bit of salt. A lot more sea salt. I'll do. There we are, we'll leave that lemon juice do its job until it's nice and pickled and ready to go in 20 minutes. No more to dig. <laughs> right guys, so this has had 20 minutes now. So I'm just gonna finish it off with a little bit of cress. Just cut the cress into the... Oh, that, and a little glug of extra virgin olive oil. This is now ready to go to the table, and let's see what the family thinks of this. <laughs> what we got? We've got Bob, my father-in-law. You've met Fion before, of course, and there's my mum. Dad, you've met a minute ago. Obviously, you've met Catherine before, and this is Mildred, my mother-in-law. So, Bob's going to have a first go. It is just a starter. <laughs> right, so Bob will tell me now what he thinks of the flavours and textures and... Right. Looks good. Aye, got the it does shit good. I don't know, it's As if we're very conservative. We might come round again if I like it. Let's fill up, Bob. Very nice. Yeah? Textures? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Mildred? I haven't tried yet, can you? No, I know that. That's why I'm coming down to you with the camera now. <laughs> That's no fish on that one. <laughs> yeah. There's no point cutting, it just... In it goes. What do you think? It's nice when you've got this sharpness on the sauce with it. Brilliant. Mm. Catherine? Mm. Refreshing. Nice firm bit of fish. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Tasty. Good. Fresh out of the sea on Christmas Eve morning. Yeah. Right guys, so Right guys, so here you go then No messing around, straight in That is <laughs> So 
so fresh and it's not um, very light yeah. um, it's so it's not going to not going to overpower our turkey which is resting over there um, it was just like old days earlier cooking with dad brilliant stuff um, anyway guys so hopefully hopefully I'll get up to that hundred before the new year <laughs> nine more to go we'll get on it the tomorrow hopefully see him get some bait so until the next session guys Good have luck. a happy Christmas or happy Basmus yeah Whoa. and <laughs> tight lines everyone <laughs>